Hey YouTube, it's 3 Shot God from Miners of Legend, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to make three different types of server. A bucket server, a regular Minecraft server, .exe server, and a Minecraft.jar server. So first, in order to get the um, main server, the easiest one, takes the least amount of time, is the... Um, server.exe you can find this on minecraft.net and basically all you do is you go to downloads you want to click it and then you want to find minecraft server.exe right there exe and boom hit the download button 18 seconds left they're gonna load while I'm here I might as well get the other one the other one is the server.jar you want to click that And the final one is from Bucket. Me, I always get the latest versions, but I guess you can get the recommended versions too. This one, this recommended version is, yeah, but the recommended build is only for Minecraft version 1.1. So I will not get this one. Some of you, yeah, you want to use a 1.1 server, go ahead. But by me, I would go back to the book. Oh, yeah back to the bucket and I'd get the I clicked bucket that's all I clicked and I would get the latest one which is the recommended build not the recommended development this one works for minecraft 1.2.5 and it's the latest de developmental build so you want to download that and there you go right off the bat you have all three different types of servers you have bucket dot jar and dot exe so now to start oh yeah I forgot I need to wait for this download to finish so let's start our dot exe server we will take this and yeah so in order to install the minecraft the exe server you will drag this into a uh, random folder I created this one for this occasion and you're gonna open it up and just run that right there run the spot it should come up with a Java um, file just popping up yeah right here this is gonna be where you put in your typing your people your players list and stuff will be there if it says fail to load all this that's supposed to happen because now if you go back into that same folder bam you have all those stuff that said it failed to load and now you can get started with your server so right now if you're going to add a uh, custom map a map that you want to add i suggest you exit out of it because you didn't really need that all you needed was the folders and once you exit out of it you have all your world folders now say if I had a world I wanted for my Minecraft saves, I'd go to my percent percent app data. Oops, spelled that wrong. App data. And you'd go to your dot Minecraft and to your saves. Take whatever save you want and you drag those saves into your your um folder then and yeah so once you do that like say if I wanted this nation world I drag it into there I go into my server list and instead of world I put nation and it would work but either way in order to, in, in order to customize your stuff like I would use Hamachi so I'd put my Hamachi ID right there and you could edit all this stuff yeah so that's basically this now let's move on to the next one which is the server dot jar kinda runs like the same way as yeah how would I just put those oh here I have two downloads bang bang it kinda runs like these two except 
this one is pretty different. This one you would drag into your new folder. This one is the one that you'll be able to mod. This one is the easy server, just a server to run and you know have a couple friends build stuff. But if you want to have a, mo a server that you can add mods to, actually get down to business, you'd use this one. But if you're going to install a mod, you put all the stuff in like mod loader MP, mod loader MP server, da 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 audio mod server you'd add them all in before you run that and you can also add them in after because if you need to add a mod later but same business you'd run it and if you had mods it would run on the screen and yeah there it is so this is the server that you need for mods and the hardest one of all of them is probably the bucket one this one's time consuming you have your bucket and you want to rename this file to craft bucket that's it craft bucket and you want to open google chrome internet explorer mozilla whatever you have and you want to go to wiki dot bucket setting up a server this will help you with the basic guidelines. You will download the craft bucket, recommended build or whatever, put the jar file in the folder, we did that already, and now we have to open a notepad document. So we want to go to a accessories and notepad. So me, I would be running this one right here. So I would copy this and paste it into this folder right here. And then I'd save it as run dot bat and as all files. That's it. Make sure you put it run dot bat and all files. You go to your directory, the place that you put it in, and you would put in straight save. And bam. Like the other servers, you do have to run craft bucket to get all those files again. Wait, 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 what? Oh, my fault. I'm getting confused between all these servers. That's what the run is for. You use the run and run your server with that. Fail to load main class manifest. Craft bucket. Did I mess up anything? Craft bucket. Let's see. Maybe I used the wrong one because it specifies for different computers. So, oh. No, I think I did use the right one. You want to edit this. If it doesn't work, they have a list of codes here that will work. So let's try the second one. Sorry about that. I really think, I really thought at least that would work. No, that one is supposed to work. It's probably, oh, because I haven't said it. Yeah, like like I said, the this one's always the most tricky one. Had the most problems with this out of all of them. So I want to just go back to this. You will not have the same problem, and if you do, then I can assist you with that. Cause I do have my own bucket server. I'm not gonna pop that up right now, but there depending on what kind of computer you run if you run a 30 bit a 32 bit mode on a 64 bit machine change the program files warning there we go so this is the windows the linux and the mac but i know like windows and mac are the two top ones that are most frequently used so Depending on why my craft bucket's not working, 